science. And I love it when you send in your questions for us to explore the answers together. And today we have an awesome question. Have a look. My science question is, are there such things as magnetic rocks? Thanks so much for sending in this question. I'm so fascinated by it. And the answer is, absolutely yes. Magnetic rocks do exist. How cool is that? So, you know that all rocks are made of minerals, but not all minerals are magnetic. What makes magnetic rocks super duper cool is that they're made of a mineral that's an iron ore called magnetite. This is magnetite. Magnetite is a naturally occurring magnetic rock, and it's found all over the Earth. Do you guys know what a meteorite is? Well, a meteorite is a rock that falls from space, and most of the meteorites that we've found here on Earth also have magnetite in them. That means there are magnetic rocks on Earth and in outer space. How cool is that? And another cool thing about magnetite is that long, long ago, People used to tie pieces of magnetite to a string and use it as a compass because it would always sway to the north magnetic pole. To show you that this is a magnetic rock, I'm gonna take this piece of magnetite and I'm gonna put it on top of this magnet and see what happens. Ta-da, magnetism. So now that we know magnetic rocks exist, let's talk a little bit about what makes them magnetic. Magnetism is a force that's all around us. And if something is magnetic, that means it has properties that want to pull objects together and push objects apart. Let's see it in action. Here, I have two magnets that look pretty much exactly the same, except you'll notice that one end is red and one end is black. And that's because they're opposite poles. So let's see what happens when I try and push those opposite poles together. <gasps> Look at that! They are attracting each other. So let's try something else. What happens if I try and push both of the same poles together? Ooh! 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 They don't want to go together. Let me show you another way. I've got some smaller magnets that might make it easier for you to see. Here are two magnets also the same pole. And look what happens when I try and push them together. Oh, they keep running away from each other. They're not very friendly, are they? Well kids, it's been so much fun talking about magnets today. I could probably talk about magnets all day long, but I've run out of time. Thanks so much for sending in this great question. If you've got a question, please send it to me and I'd love to work together to find out the answers. Have a great day, everybody. This is Sally Science.